I'm definitely feeling outpaced these days. It kind of feels like every time we go to work, you know, we get back, we're tired, we play for a little bit. But while we've been at work, other people have been grinding. You know, other people have found what works for them. Everyone's getting more experience. They're getting better at the game. They're figuring out what the most powerful cards are, how best to use them. Uh, so I feel like we're getting left behind. Like, this is just a race that we can't win. We're definitely not helping ourselves, though, because it's almost like a point of pride. I just seem to refuse to actually try and play optimal decks or build optimal decks. I play fun decks, you know, like, I get back and I just want to relax. I don't really want to like stress too much or try and create the winningest deck ever. I just want to create the deck that makes me the happiest. Uh, but the other side of that is I genuinely do get to it quite easily. And I hate losing to like top tier decks, especially when it happens like over and over and over again. Like that thing where we just met Zoo five times in a row, like really optimized Zoo decks. I like Vyas, but in that moment, I just really hated, like, mate, can you just, I get it, like, I'm not playing to win here, it's a casual game, please just leave me alone, but we're not helping ourselves, like, we should be going for optimal, I just can't, I can't seem to help it, um, I mean, even today, right, I woke up, it's Saturday morning, and I was like, well, what do I want to play today, let's build a deck, um, and, you know, the NS just stands for not sure, and it's kind of like, because I'm not even sure what i want to do or what i want to achieve exactly i just kind of built a deck that i thought is kind of enjoyable it's got things that i like <laughs> and things that are really really silly uh there are definitely things that i'm obsessed with in this game though or there are like certain tweaks like i think Lichlock cannon things in cannon you know like anything that involves mass cannon i'm like oh god i, I just love this so much Lichlock cannon i've just I've always enjoyed it. I don't know why. Kind of like Mystic Summoner decks as well. Uh, I'm going to explain this deck kind of like from the bottom up. Normally I talk about the monsters first. But I'll give the general overview and talk about the support cards and then go into the monsters. Because I think that makes a little bit more sense. But basically, um, the default generated mutant is absolute rubbish. Like the Ossery isn't good. It's only good for getting a bone in your graveyard. Um, so, and the deck itself is kind of built around that idea, like, nothing is great on the board, they're just ways of getting to the end game, everything's for getting to the end game, everything's for trying to, um, control what happens as best as possible, it's a control deck, basically, it's definitely not strong in the early game, I imagine we might get, uh, rushed down, a large part of the deck is about just destroying my own stuff, uh, I do feel like I... I'm like, I liked bio recycling before everyone else. And now I see a lot of bio recycling. This deck is kind of like the extreme version of that though, where I was crazy about bio recycling because it allowed me to control the number of minions on the board. Lichlock Cannon I like too. This is, this is crazy. Well, it's not crazy, but yeah, the mass cannon, the uh, bio recycling. We also have no problem having three copies of Incinerate. Because the overall value of our boards is going to be lower than our opponents. And if we incinerate an ossery, who cares? You know, like, we still get the bone in the graveyard. That's all we really care about, kind of. There is, to some degree, like, a rushdown aspect. But we can put up surprisingly big numbers. Uh, one copy of Foul Play, because, you know, everyone plays around Foul Play, it seems. You know, a copy of Toxic League, Into the Void. There's not a lot else to say, really. Um... You know, like, this is kind of what we're playing to, though. This definitely isn't a Murgle deck, but you'll see that I have a copy of Murgle. I We're playing to Astra Gallomancy, kind of. We're just playing to a card, which I think is extremely, extremely strong. It requires a little bit of setup, but really not that much. Uh, the reason we have the uh, cycles in here, really, is just that we can proc Astra Gallomancy kind of when we want. Like, at any point, we can just create the Osseries, destroy them, Astra Gallomancy. That's another three cards in our hand. And, you know, with the cannon, suddenly things get a little bit strange. Like I said, we can do surprising amounts of damage because I think cannon lichlock is just a neat combo. I don't think it's like broken, obviously. But I think the problem with lichlock is that your opponent can just ignore it. You know, it does one damage, you know, so what? Even as it evolves, like, really, really pathetic. But with cannon, you know, it's suddenly, you know, like, the fact that it's got four health and only one attack... That works because it attacks and then you use the cannon on it. When you use the cannon on it, you deal another four damage. So that's five damage altogether, plus it draws a card. So it replaces itself 
and that's at base level you know of course if it if it evolves great because now you're suddenly getting hand advantage as it is you know you get slight card disadvantage but i just think the ability at any point to destroy your lich lock and accomplish something i mean so help me like if it's if it just gets to bronze you can get rid of a guardian weld tree anything you want with your lich lock draw two cards give evolution points to an ossery in fact it's enough evolution points for the ossery to then create two bones in the graveyard and become a free free so you're probably going to do something with that uh that's the only way i can really describe it i'm kind of like jumping all over the place um i haven't used this a lot i think we need just a little bit of guardian because i do have the well tree in here and you can see we're doing our best to protect it but there's not a lot of guardian in here you know the collector when we get it we're expecting to be a guardian because we will have the 10 cards um you know the terra terra the caron well trees themselves are quite bulky but those three evolution points it's um it's not great uh, yeah, right. So we've talked about the support cards. You, you already get the gist, though. Like, basically, we're just trying to kill a lot of our stuff. So you can see that we've got the stuff that we kind of want to kill. Um, you know, soul eaters, lich locks, stuff like that. That we're not we're not too bothered about. Um, soul eater, yeah, as well. Like, I hate it as a base card. Like in a void, I think this is absolute rubbish. Like getting a free two out of your cry core that gives two evolution points. That's a terrible ratio of evolution points to stats. I really don't like it. But it also represents, you know, even at basic rank, you can attack anything for four damage plus one damage to everything else. And with a single Darwinism, this is six damage to any one thing. And there's very few things in the game that can really withstand six damage. So Soul Eater just allows you to deal with any significant threats while also doing a little bit of board clearing but we're just trying to get to the late game so we've got a lot of clears three times incinerate three times uh soul eater lich locks to try and keep our handful um we're very very support heavy because we just need to have the answers all the time uh one copy of mergle one copy of collector i can't like this isn't a mergle deck but i've got a single copy because if the stars align um mergle is one card that represents more than 10 damage which is kind of ridiculous you know absolutely silly that a single card can represent 10 damage you know that's a third of someone's life mergle comes out creates itself five mergles 10 damage you can even like smash a mergle into something and then bio recycle it or cannon it and then put down the ossery and then you know your default generated minion create a bone which means that another mergle will be created and you can very very easily create you know 13 14 15 damage it, it's almost laughably easy um but most of our bones i'm ho like we really need for ash to gallimancy and also for devourer uh collector and devourer are kind of in the same boat where i love collector because effectively if you've got 10 cards it's a 4-4 four four, and a devourer is the same like it's a free free, but of course you're gonna, you know, sacrifice the ossery, do something to get that bone in immediately. So it's gonna be a four four, and four four for two evolution points is really good value. Um I kind of really like stuff like power orb, health orb, anything that increases your your power without actually increasing your evolution points, because your evolution points are obviously something that doesn't benefit you, they're a malice. Your evolution points basically never benefit you. They benefit your opponent. So you would like your stats relative to your evolution points to be as high as possible. 4-4 four, four, um, for two evolution points is about as good as you can get without really getting, like, you know, actual support in. You know, just a base card. And the Devourer is, effect is effectively that. It's just great stats. I love that. 4-4 four, four for two. Really solid stats coming out of the Cryo Core. Uh, yeah, Caron, I've talked about, her like... No one believes me. I'm the only one that ever, you know, ever thinks that um, heroics are something. But I think there are a surprising number of matches where you may have 10 advanced cards, but all your advanced cards happen to be at the bottom of your deck. And you've got nothing to put in the cryo core. And heroics just mean, you know, like it happens a lot. A surprising amount. Anyway, you know, I've given up trying to convince people. They don't believe me. You can see that the deck is not optimal. It's basically Lich Lock Cannon with a little bit of um, Astra Gallimancy, Murgle, Devourer. You know, it, it's a bone cannon deck, kind of. 
We're not expecting much. It'd be nice if we could get a win or two. Um, I think we do need to stop messing around. Like, you know, I like fun decks. I love doing what makes me happy and relaxing. But also, you know, the game is passing us by a little bit. I'm kind of getting tired of, you know, like getting home. People have created new decks and stuff. They're like, well, what do you think of this? And I've got a lot of hours in the game. But I haven't got like a lot of, you know, hours in the game playing top tier stuff. And I'm, it's really the point where I'm just like, well, honestly, I just defer to your judgment. If this is working for you, you know, I can't really say much because I just play random stuff, <laughs> you know, whatever I want. So maybe we should try and create our own, our own optimal deck. Um, I think, yeah, I definitely think there are a few avenues. I mean, am I really going to talk about it? I definitely think there are like a few ideas that normally I kind of avoid or I think is broken. Um, but, you know, like stuff like Squad and Zoo. There's so much Squad and Zoo these days. You know, I think I think that's kind of like being well-tread. I think that's being thoroughly explored. So we probably won't go for that. Uh, and there's also this mech parts deck, you know, that people are crazy about. But I think, I, don't, I mean, I went eight wins and one loss on just a basic mech deck. I think Altaris is just so strong. I think that basic kind of core of uh, mech blade advanced minions, you know, Altaris, Dezinga, Enforcer is fine. I'm not crazy about Enforcer. Dezinga, you know, is okay. If it has an orb, though, it's very, very solid. And it kind of starts reaching that, you know, that kind of um, stats point where I'm just like, wow. You know, like, all you need is one orb on it. And it's stats relative to its evolution points. It's fantastic. Just a sec. Uh, what time is it? Like 10 a.m., 11 a.m.? I guess no one's on. I'm not sure. <laughs> my expectations are so low in some ways i feel like this might be like one of the few times or maybe this is just like the turning point where we have to start getting a little bit serious <laughs> we're already playing someone who's in the the tay two tournament so this is a player who has actual decks you know actual serious decks let's put some actual time in blades is interesting does that mean they've got bunny then? Uh, I can't protect them at the start. I don't know what their start's going to be. That's kind of the issue here. I don't know what their start's going to be. Yeah, we probably should have thrown the world tree. I don't like it like this. We also accidentally drew our only copy of foul play. I should have been more aggressive. And they threw their defaults. They've got a basic. They didn't even bother with the basic. Wow. Okay. Oh, what do we want to make of this? Devara looks kind of tempting. They've got so many cards in hand. I refuse to believe that Weld Tree would ever survive. But we have Into the Void. So we could put the Weld Trees down. Knowing that full well, even if they die, we can still just get rid of things. Let's devour for now, and then... Oh, what if it's Shinso Orb? But that would require... That would require such an investment. That would require a massive amount of orbs, wouldn't it? Do we have to commit anything? I don't think we do. No... I don't feel comfortable putting down Weld Trees without seeing him expend some resources. Putting down Weld Trees when he's got so many cards in hand, you know, is very, very likely he's going to have the tools in hand. I'd rather just see him with like three or four cards in hand. I'd feel way more comfortable that way. Dezinga. So he's definitely got the orbs, but he's thinking about it and he doesn't want to commit too hard either. But he can't leave Dezinga like this. I think he knows he can't leave Dezinga like this though.
I don't know. I mean, we have so many different ways of doing this. I'm not too bothered. Or do you just want to kind of do it like this? Yeah, you know what? I don't mind this. He's put nothing in the cryo core. I don't quite know what to expect, but let's just do it like this. A 5-4 is not perfect, but it means he's got to deal like 4 damage to the Devourer. You've got the uh, Vitality right behind. Yeah, and we've got Into the Void, so. He's got 2 damage from the Warrior, but... Like, does, does Blades have any real way of generating things, you know? Does it have any real way of generating something that's going to accomplish something? What the? So double explosion then? But that means our weld trees aren't destroyed. Oh no, oh no, Sir Pugginton can't deal that much damage on its own though. Yeah, that was too much of a threat, wasn't it? For you to deal with. Okay. So we just need two more damage on Pugginton. Perfect! That's exactly what we wanted. Yeah, I love that. So four cards in hand. We're looking strong. He's got nothing. Abs like He hasn't done anything so far. This is great. And this is a genuine player as well. This is legit, so... One of these into the void. So you're not going to draw that card either. That's wonderful. Do I even want to bio-recycle my... No, I want to give him an opportunity to foul play if he wants to foul play. Like, if he foul plays something here, wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, I don't really want to evolve his stuff, though. I think three is hard for him to hit. Uh, it's not that hard. He's used so many explosions, though. If he's got a foul play in hand, he might be feeling pressured to use it here. And we can keep ourselves so low that this is his only opportunity to foul play, really. Like, we can just clear whenever we want he's trying to get to those trees of vitality though just a sec something's going on Right, just a sec. Um, what exactly do you want to do here? You know, I legit actually want to just do that. That's fine, isn't it? Can't I just do that? But yeah, sorry. Uh, he's down to two cards. There's absolutely nothing here. This is pretty rubbish for him, right? How do we even want to deal with this? We can deal with it in any way we want. Yeah, if we bull walk our um Oh I'm distracted now, sorry, something's happening.
I'm just surprised that this is kind of happening. Like, what on earth is going on? So he's probably into the voids here, I'd imagine. I would. Right, just a sec. Alright, there I go. Wow, uh, I just got a McDonald's, isn't that nice? So are they just taking the loss here? Wow, they're just bowing down. This is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? This is kind of crazy. Yeah, this is against the legit player. And we're kind of doing really well. Better than I was expecting anyway. Are they just trying to deck us out at this point? I would. Isn't that silly? Isn't that so silly? Do we want to do it again? <laughs> oh, we kind of do, don't we? <laughs> Isn't that stupid though? Isn't that so, so stupid? Okay. Uh, we're going to lose cards if we do it like this. That kind of sucks. Still, we do have another two damage if we... Oh no, three damage. Wow, okay. Careful. Oh no. We've actually got... <laughs> We've actually got more than that. Are we just going to rush them down? Is this actually... Is this going to happen? No. <laughs> We're close though. We're actually really close. I don't know what happens with two devourers. I don't know if you actually both get the buff from a single bones. Or if you have to do it twice. Uh, I'm going to mute though. It's a shame. I'd love to talk about the game, but... I've got, you know, a burger, so. Wow, nice of someone to get me a meal. It's just uh, kind of bad timing because now I can't talk about the game as it's happening. And I'm kind of excited about this because we're playing against a legit player who's playing in the tournament in our first match. Uh, so this kind of got off to a good start, right? Aren't they dead? I'm pretty sure they're dead. I'm pretty sure they're dead. I'm sure of it. Probably shouldn't have done that, but you know. Oh, oh, should we do it the classy way? What should, you ready? Seven damage, right? Seven damage, mass cannon. Here comes the Wamba. Oh, that was right. Boom. Sorry, mate. Ah, oh, that felt good. That felt good. Just a sec. Oh, I don't, I, I can't eat and talk at the same time. And everyone's laughing at me as well. So uh, I'm going to have to mute. We're just going to have to play. But so far, we're one win and zero losses. 
Oh, I guess we're just too strong, right? I guess we're just way too strong. Just a second. <laughs> I don't expect that win rate to uh, stay that way. I don't know if we got lucky or what, but... Um, yeah, it, it felt good, though. It feels good to win with these sorts of decks. It's just that eventually you get hit in the face with reality and someone plays an optimal deck, you know, and you just get slapped. And you're like, oh, for goodness sake, like, I don't feel good about getting stumped so hard, you know? So it's difficult because when you win with something like this, you feel amazing. I kind of hate this just because like our soul eater it really isn't going to accomplish much at all. Oh, burn deck. Okay, then. Uh, interesting test, I guess. That was actually great for us. We're going to destroy it in one go, so... We can even destroy one of our um, bones at the same time if we really want. Best not because we've got nothing in the cryo core. I'm definitely feeling kind of exposed, so we'll do this instead. Uh, we can afford to do so. Okay, there it is. Cannon lich lock, yeah, GG, GG. And that was another bone, two bones. We've also almost got Astro if we need it. Of course, this is going to happen here. Ironically, our hand is too full. Our hand is actually too full. We actually need to try and get rid of something. Isn't that silly? I say that and I don't discard anything. I'm not sure. Isn't max hand size 10 now? Shouldn't we be okay?
a little bit confused by this now, to be honest. Am I getting too ridiculous at this point? I am, aren't I? I'm getting really, really silly. Yeah, I'm actually really getting carried away doing silly things. Nothing in the cryo core. I think this is the moment, innit? We're actually hoping for this to go in the ossery, aren't we? I'm pretty sure we are. I'm so dumb. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Yeah, ignore everything I've I've ever done. Ever in my entire life. I somehow need this Lich Lock to now be amazing. I really screwed that up, right? I just threw the game. I was doing like silly moves because I'm trying to eat at the same time. Not really paying attention. This is wonderful, though. He's actually throwing the game. He's got it won, and I think he's throwing the game right now. This is silly. Yeah, I mean, we need this Lich Lock to give us cards. It's not acceptable uh, having it die right now. But he's using explosions and all sorts of random stuff. If we can get Lich Lock into Double Devourer, we can work our way back into this game. You'd imagine they're going to try and rush us down at this point, though. But they just don't have a lot in hand, right?
Okay, so they realise it as well. They need to rush us down in order to win. But they've got so little in hand now. I think it's done. They'd have to draw. Like, they actually have to draw now. Something amazing. I think they've got no chance. Does it go into a 3-3? Free -free? Crap. Okay. Hmm. I actually don't know whether we should summon an Ossery or not. Because we are opening ourselves up to a foul play. It's a weird one, right? But a 5-3 is too big to ignore. And they've used so many explosions. Like, they have one card in hand. They would actually have to draw so lucky here. They'd have to draw the perfect card. Genuinely. That Toxic Leak was a mistake. They've given themselves so few options. They've given themselves even fewer options. This is ridiculous. Okay, but we've got a Tree of Vitality, so you have to attack the Tree of Vitality, right? But we have a Devourer. No, that's a mistake. I'm going to get that health back. No, that, that is definitely a mistake. That's fantastic for us. So they now have a demon on one random card and they need to deal seven damage. <clears throat> like I said, they just need to draw so lucky. So ridiculously lucky. So they, they're throwing the basic. But they actually need something to put down now. They've just given up on the ability to put something down now. Yeah, they'd have had to have a basic. Oh, we're in trouble. Apparently not that much trouble. But they need their foul play in hand, like right now, right? May I should have Ossereed instead? Oh my goodness. If this goes off, it's just GG, isn't it? Like, isn't that just... <clears throat> That's 10. I mean, like I, I've said before, right? Murgle, if it comes down, that's 10 damage, just like that. They're actually so close. I actually feel like we should just destroy my Soul Eater. I genuinely feel... Because they can foul play or devour like this. No, they can't. Forget that. So they would need Toxic Leak, basically. They need Toxic Leak, something amazing... Honestly, something ridiculous. Something absolutely ridiculous. They're done. They're so done. Yeah, I mean, I've, I'm just going to say it over and over again. But if they win at this point, uh, they got lucky. Like, I don't know how else to phrase this. But by using Toxic Leak, they had no cards at all. You know, like, they threw away all cards. And they've, they've just done that. But they could have put their demon down. And that would have evolved. And then at least they'd have had more damage, right? Oh, no. Like, Murgle's about to come down. This is... Yeah. Oh, so they've got one card they can use in hand right now. 
I don't think they realise it's over. I think they're trying to not lose. But it doesn't matter. Wow, two wins. This deck's actually top tier. It looks like we found our top tier deck, guys. It looks like we found our top tier deck. Good job, everyone. Good job, everyone. Oh, his heart must have fallen when he saw that. And let's just mass cannon as well. Oh, oh my god, two wins. This deck's broken. It's too good, isn't it? Oh, it's far too good. It's not an exaggeration either to say that um, if you look at that last turn, right, even if he'd had 12 or 14 health because of the cannon and the Murgle, we could put down the Murgle, destroy... Um, Attack with the uh, Devourer, then use Cannon on the Devourer to put a Skeleton down. Put the Skeleton down, um, attack either of the units. Uh, that would have replaced, because there'd be a Bone, that would then put another Murgle down. And that would have been another 2 damage. Um, our reach was actually way higher than their health there. I feel amazing about that, but I really need to... Finish this meal. Oh, this is the same thing as last night. Last night I was trying to have my dinner and I kept getting invited to freebie ones. This is silly though. This is silly. We're playing actual people. Real people. Wait, wait. We are playing actual people. Did I just panic? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Have I ruined the game? Is this a bug? No. What? <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened, but somehow... I thought I'd accidentally pressed on the um, AI arena and we were about to face an AI, so I tried to get out of it. But now it's put me in a match, so I don't know. Yes, I'm still trying to have my tea as well. Really glad to see that incinerate, that's for sure. I think we put the Devourer down just to create a body. You know, like a big body that they then have to deal with. I don't know if I want to cycle my assembly or actually use it now. Oh, it's an extra point of damage. Because I also kind of want to save it for my Lich Lock, right? Oh, crap. Okay. Well, we've got a couple of answers. We might just have to throw the Lich Locks, though, which I absolutely hate, especially since they were a big deal in our last match. Our hand went low, and it was only due to Lich Lock that we then managed to rebuild our hand, get some answers to some of the stuff they were posing. So you revolve it with Absalom. Oh, I don't know. They're going to have so many cards in hand. I don't know if Welltree is correct here. It doesn't feel like it should be, you know? I know that Incinerate is definitely correct. I just don't know about Welltree. But I think you have to play more confident when you've got... 
Oh, no, because I'm going to enter the void, the Absalom. Should I not do that? Awkward, right? If I don't bio-recycle, it's going to feel awful, though. So I have to do it like this. I can't get rid of it, can I? And then we incinerate. And then that's going to put a massive body on the board that hopefully they can't deal with. Also, they do have to deal with the Tree of Vitality. It's going to be difficult to deal with everything all at once, you know? So you evolve Cernanos and destroy the Tree of Vitality? I think. I don't know, they've just got too many cards in hand, I think. There was those two data extractions. We start so slow, we've got no way of dealing with it when someone does that to us. And now they are just filled with, you know, weapons, basically. Their whole hand is just filled with tools, so... We can work our way back, but, you know, they're using kind of like a popular meta kind of scummy deck, you know? Doesn't feel great. Oh, that, that was actually really well played. Really well played. Didn't they run out of time before Cernanos could do anything, though? Oh, serious? The turn was over. How on earth did they do that? That's BS. It's absolute BS, isn't it? They didn't even use much of their hand. It's kind of depressing. Yeah, we're so screwed. Not a lot we can do here. Then again, this isn't even a match we opted into. We tried to cancel out of the match, so I'm a little bit irritated. Oh, I don't know what the answer is here. We can destroy the Genshin Ryoku, obviously, but it just seems a bit pointless, doesn't it, to do that? Hmm. Yeah, it just feels kind of pointless to do that. 
We're going to have to search for an answer, basically. Also, perhaps I should have um, used Cycle beforehand, because then we could have created two 2-2s. Two but it's not enough, because it's, you know, 2-5. We can't get around that. Kind of an awkward one. We can't even put down our Tree of Vitality. This is really awkward. We're just going to accept it. I think we have to, don't we? Astra Gallimanthi is what we want at this point. I'm so irritated. They ran out of time. So how on earth did they do that? Yeah. We can't even put down the Trees of Vitality. Oh, this sucks. I'm more irritated that I tried to quit out of the match. And then it put me in a match anyway. That is very, very annoying. I'm just trying to, like, get things done. I'm in the middle of having my lunch, for goodness sake. I quit out the match. Now I've got to fight this guy using a scummy deck. Like, come on. Now nah, we can't continue. We can't continue. Double data extraction at the start. Went into nothing. Playing against this, you know. But it is, you know, just an issue, in it? That every deck has to face. It's eventually going to face an optimised zoo deck. And they kind of got the right end of their deck as well, right at the beginning. So. Hmm. Maybe I should just play seriously. There's an idea. Alright, I think I've only got time for one more match. Because I'm supposed to be... Uh, help him renovate the house. So I'm sp we're supposed to be doing the windows. I thought I would be able to, like, get a couple of matches in beforehand and record them. But since they came back with lunch, and I've spent my time doing that, and now they're outside with the drill, I think I'm supposed to be out there. We'll do one more match, and cross our fingers we're not against... Uh, I don't want to say that sort of deck. I don't want to say that sort of player either. I don't know, this is a conundrum. This is kind of what I mean though, like I think we're going to have to reach a point where we stop playing just stuff that's just fun or a unique twist on stuff because, you know, I just hate those decks and it starts feeling like, well, we should just fight fire with fire. Let's just come up with our own optimised deck. Although we're two wins and one loss, so it's not exactly like we're getting... I don't know. It's not enough matches, is it? That's the problem. It's not enough matches. It's Saturday. I've got most of the day, but, you know, being a grown-up, got to go to work, have responsibilities around the house. Let's do one match and then, um, maybe we should just play this deck twice today, actually. Normally, like, I'll just record and play a different deck each time with whatever idea I've come up with, but I shouldn't be gone for an hour. So, I guess I'll do a part one and part two. Let's actually test this deck. You know what? Why not? If this is kind of like a last hurrah before I get a bit more serious about the game. Or not, I don't know. I really don't want to. If I'm honest about it, I actually really don't want to. I want to keep doing what I'm doing because it makes me happy. But just getting destroyed by top tier decks over and over again doesn't make me happy. So I don't even know what to make of it. Okay, Mystic. I guess the one good thing about this is Mystic has the same issue we do. Oh, my opponent starts. Do I have to keep... Ah, this is awkward. So I don't really want to get rid of the cycle. I don't want all the cycling, that's for sure. In fact, all I really want is into the void. And... Yeah. 
Having foul play in your hand feels um, awful. I have one copy and it's only just in case, you know. Too many people play around foul play these days. I think you still, you know, like having one copy in your deck is still okay. But otherwise you're just pushing it, man. What a scummy start. Just like us. Unbelievable. So the shield comes down, is that correct? Okay. Yeah. We can definitely destroy that tree of vitality next turn, but I'll bet anything there's a guardian coming out. Why would you just put down a single well tree unprotected like this? Because they, yeah, see, there you go. Because you know what my deck is. You've seen my deck, so kind of inexcusable, isn't it, not to? I can taste that well tree. Look at it, it's just sitting there. This is kind of a matter of how do you want to do this. Um, am I really going to into the void a thingy? I think I just might actually. I genuinely think I just might. I'm not letting it survive, that's for sure. Uh, do we actually Toxic Leak here? No way, right? We just do this. Hmm. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Are you really going into to into the void this? Yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, I am. I am going to do that. I am going to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely going to do that. And I'm going to do this too. And I'm going to evolve and be like 8-8. And then I'm going to say, look, you have to expend a lot of cards here. <laughs> you have to expend a massive amount of cards to deal with me. Although I guess Toxic Leak and suddenly they've got a massive amount of evolution points, right? They do have all their tools in hand. It's not like they've committed a lot here. Can't believe we into the void did a demon. It just feels stupid. Uh that actually confuses me a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Why would you do that? Things are actually getting weirder. I don't understand what they're doing right now. <clears throat> Do we just destroy? I mean, the assembly comes down, right? That's bound to happen. How do I destroy both? Do I even destroy both? Hmm. Wow, this is kind of crazy. Do I really do this? I need to think. I mean, we could just destroy everything on board. It just feels like a waste to do that. Oh, that changes things. Okay. Oh, what exactly am I destroying here? Assembly as well? No? Okay. 
Hmm. Doesn't really bother me either way. Oh, you know what? We should have uh, sculled and then we'd have gotten the extra evolution point. I guess I don't really care. Yeah, I misplayed this pretty hard, right? Maybe I should have even ignored it. I was too um, distracted by our own world tree. I was like, how on earth do we get the most out of this world tree? And I completely wasted a lot of uh, material there. They've got so many options now. Oh, they've gone for a heroic though. So foul play? Yeah, must be foul play. And it looks like we're going to have to rush a lot. No, explosion. Okay, that's not... Okay, so there's something else. Okay. Well, we knew the explosion was coming. They feel like they have to buy time, but they've committed too much. Yeah, coming way too much. But we do have to rush. They've got a heroic. We now need to get them down dangerously low as quick as possible. But everything's riding on this heroic, so. I'm not sure what to say. I've never even seen it before. Burn him free. Oh, okay, so it's just going to destroy everything then. Oh, wow. Wow, we're screwed. Are we actually dead? Yeah, because Kung Chao evolves, right? And then we die. Wow. They actually didn't bother with the Orb of Vitality, though. That can't be right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is of such unbelievable quality, isn't it? If only we had something to actually do here, not what we're about to do. So we don't mind them having options, right? Like, that doesn't bother us. Oh, my mistake. My mistake. Oh, my goodness. That Tree of Vitality is going to kill this guy. This Tree of Vitality is going to kill this guy because you didn't deal with the Tree of Vitality. Should have dealt with it last time. Oh, no. I feel so stupid. Yeah, totally should have destroyed it. Like, you've got two cards in hand, you know, plus your basic. You need to get rid of this Tree of Vitality. It's that simple. Gore for the Cruel came out. I've never even seen that card before. I was not prepared for it. No, you've just wasted a card in your hand, though. Okay. Nice. Gotta be honest, I was expecting more than that. I think we might be in trouble here. I think we might be in a lot of trouble here. He is about to evolve in a massive way. Ah, it's kind of frustrating though. They've got no cards in hand. So this is it. This is all their power, but it's actually more than we can handle. <laughs> Yeah, because he's about to evolve. It doesn't matter anyway, because he's going to destroy the tree. Oh, crap. The worst thing that happens is if they put a basic unit down here. No, that's okay. Oh, that, that is the, the one thing we did not want to see. Because now they can really just do everything. Oh, that sucks. We need Astro Gallimancy. So she have... No, because now you haven't... 
Oh, someone... Someone explain to me the world that I'm living in here. I'm genuinely confused. What do we attack? Do we just attack them? I think we do. Don't we just ignore them? really need Astro Gallimancy. Do I actually attack the, the pig? I think we do. Hmm, this is a tough one. Oh, the pig's going to evolve as well. It really sucks. We actually need to kind of get lucky here. They've definitely misplayed, but there's not a lot we can do either. Oh, this sucks. Seriously? They had no cards in hand. And they drew. They literally cycled into the basic. Oh, man. Oh, and they literally cycled into the guy. Oh, this is actually... This is actually driving me mad. But you have to burn it in order to deal damage to the cycle. So you have to destroy the, yeah, tree. But now you're hoping the tree hits the, but it won't do that. Oh man, this sucks. So we need the cannon. We haven't got the cannon. It's really happening right now. We can do this. But, you know, honestly, come on. Like, that's not really an answer, is it? Yeah. <sighs> well, this is a good match anyway. We're in trouble for sure. So, demon? Yeah, of course. Oh. No, because you're giving me cards. The way that I get back into this match is with cards. No, that's... There's no way that was correct. You're giving me a way back into the match. Having said that though, it's not like we're getting the solutions that we really need, so. Okay. Oh man, we can burn everything. That's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? Hmm. What the hell do we deal with this? Oh, we can't cycle into this, can we? We have to find a different way. Okay. Hmm. Great. We are so close. This actually hurts a bit. Can't do anything about this, can we? Do we bio-recycle for an answer? 
don't think we can afford to. Uh, I think we have to. I just don't think we've got a choice here. We're looking for our answers and we just can't find them. Nope. Yeah, the world tree is actually kind of a distraction here. We're just trying to buy some time. Second Astro Gallomancy, Incinerate. We've already used... Yeah, we've got one Incinerate. Okay. They've chosen to ignore us, but we've only got one Incinerate. We've got the Guardian, but... It's not enough, is it? Yeah, I mean, we can Guardian our Devourer. I suppose. How much health does this have now? You can't see. Is that free? I think it has free health left. So we Ossery the Demon to become a 4-4. Four, four. Then we... What exactly? We can Bulwark Orb. But then Mass Cannon won't really do anything. Yeah, tough one. What are they doing? It's their turn, but they're refusing to do anything. What are you doing? Oh, come on, mate. You've got no cards in hand. This is just trashy behavior. Don't do this. Maybe they disconnected. I don't know. This seems really, you know. Okay. There's a way, isn't there? There's a way. I swear to goodness there's a way here. It's incinerate, incinerate. Ossery. Into the Guardian. Oh, this is going to evolve. But this mass cannon, right? Mass cannon. Into Psychor. Oh my god, we're cutting it close. Bulwark Orb. Here we go. Oh, can we make a big enough thing? Can they get to us? Oh, this is scary. All they need is an explosion. We have a massive tank in front. Like, they have, what, three cards? One's a demon. All they need is explosion. Oh, this is close. This is so close. This is going to be an amazing match either way. Oh, they've got heroes. Well, and that's going to be Geo Mega. Oh, crap. So they've got Geo Mega about to hit the board. Oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. Because Geo Mega is going to burn everything and then it's going to be destroyed. It's that simple. So. Oh, we have to destroy it, don't we? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How close are we? 
How close are we? Um, assembly is seven. Are we one off? Oh, we're one off. <laughs> I have to destroy the tower tower. All I need is one damage. I just need one damage. Come on. Give me one damage. I've got no cards. Oh my god. <laughs> I've got no cards and I've just reduced myself to dead. Oh my god. Six, five, eleven. We're off by four. I've got no cards left. Oh, GG. We were so close as well. That's disappointing. We were off by one damage. That was it. That's all we needed, just one damage. Nope, there it is. Okay, good game. Yeah, good game. Oh, one damage. We're off by one damage. Good game. Okay, two wins, two losses, but I've actually got to get on with this. <sighs> it's frustrating. To some degree, we lost as well because we ran out of cards. Do we have too much card draw? Uh, yeah, okay. That was... I don't know, that was okay. I mean, we're using a substandard deck. We know that we are. So two wins, two losses. I think we take that. I think we might play this a little bit later too.